Hello friends, today I want to talk about those people who deserve great respect because of their actions. It's no secret that the most precious thing to parents is their children. But alas, the modern way of life leaves less and less opportunity to spend time together with their children. The main reason is work, and each couple handles it differently. Some ask friends to babysit, some turn to grandparents, and some go the more practical way and hire a nanny. Jonathan Lai and his wife, a young couple from California. The family resides in the town of Irvine, and they have a young son, Josh. Both parents work full-time jobs. Jonathan is in real estate, and his wife is a lawyer at a large company. Because of the constant workload at work, they hardly had time for their child, and they had to deal with his upbringing. Outdoor walks, cooking, and other things. As often happens in such cases, finding someone to entrust your baby to is a very responsible and time-consuming process. After calling half of the agencies and interviewing many nannies, the couple finally agreed on one candidate for such an important role. The honor to raise the child went to Jenny Lee Baker, a young girl with little experiences. The spouses saw how caring with their child she was. The girl fed on the spoon and protected at every step and at the same time admiringly as if this child is her own. Most importantly, it was not a nasty insincerity as it happens with many nannies, parents say. As usual, after classes, Jenny took the child to play on the playground. Outdoor games were always a must for their growing body, and the child was already playing among the rides. The nanny sat nearby, keeping a watchful eye to make sure the child didn't fall and nothing terrible happened. When Josh finally came running back tired but happy, Jenny cleaned him up and they headed home. But as they crossed the threshold, the nanny literally sensed that something wasn't right in the house. First of all, she saw that some things were not in the way she had left them and there was a complete mess in the rooms. Of course, cleaning was also part of her duties and the girl always cleaned up after the walk, but there was no way the child could have made this mess, especially since they had been studying all morning and the toys were packed. At that moment, the nanny realized that there was someone else in the house, a stranger, and she and the child were in real danger. But in the moment of realization, the child had already rushed into the kitchen, shouting her name loudly and calling for her to come in with him. Immediately, Jenny heard noises upstairs and realized they were not alone. It is unknown how many of us would act in this extreme situation, especially a defenseless, fragile girl, especially when unprepared for such situations, not knowing who is upstairs, but how many of them were there and what to expect from them. But she was not confused and ran to the back of the house into the kitchen, picked up the child in her arms and ran out into the street. It would seem that the danger was over, but then she saw a large male silhouette coming down the stairs directly towards her. Instead of panicking, the girl immediately ran to her neighbors and called the police, keeping the baby close to her all the time. The security camera footage shows how things went, including the nanny's quick reaction to what was happening. The video shows the burglar sneaking inside, walking around the house looking for jewelry and purses. Jonah, once he learned of the incident, admitted that he found it hard to imagine that such a thing could happen to his family. My entire sense of security in the house was completely disrupted, the man says. What Jenny did for my son is unbelievable. I'm so grateful and glad to have her in our lives. Frankly, it's amazing because usually everyone thinks about their own life and here is a fragile girl who was not afraid and still primarily thought of someone else's child. The couple believes that the nanny was literally a guardian angel for their son because she did not leave the child even for a moment. And Jenny modestly responds that she does not consider herself a hero because in this situation, everyone would do the same. But as the Irvine police say, in such extreme situations, the criminal could behave in any way he wanted, up to and including the most serious consequences. What do you think of the young girl's action? Write your opinion in the comments. And that's it for today. Talk to you soon.